Do you think that he has any morals to uh, lie or not? Do any you know? morals to lie? What do you think his morals, Do you think he would lie about AI, his progression, or anything? Do you think he would be considered someone you could consider a liar? I don't know. I mean, I don't know well enough to to know uh -huh. any of that. But I, I would say, like, usually if you're going to lie about something, you'd and especially if you're investing in it and you're trying to promote right. it, you would probably want to have an optimistic view on it. But the fact okay. that he's you know, the, the guy is putting all his money into the, his companies. He's also saying, you know, this is, I don't know, this is dangerous. We need to be careful. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know why he would lie about that. I'm not saying he w he couldn't, but I don't know what his strategy would be like. Hey, I'm going to create neural like It's going to help us all out. Oh, it's well, also like super dangerous. You know, I mean, I think he's just like sounding the alarm saying like, look, here's where the we're, we're headed here. Because he's, he's also said, I th he might say later in this interview, he said like, I'm not saying I want this to happen. It's just this is where I see it going. You know, it's like inevitable. Mm -hmm. We're all rushing towards this mm -hmm. transhumanist well, I mean, AI future. But at the same time, we have to be careful, you know, because this is like super dangerous to mess with. What if like he was lying about a key point that he wasn't as ahead as, as he actually is and he's still in certain mid stages or early stages, but he comes on stage and he says, you know, well, I'm in these stages and I'm worried, but it's kind of maybe to bring it attention and, and things like that. So as you know, and the reason I kind of check their channel is that, you know, Elon Musk got subpoenaed to court um, for uh, in May for the Johnny yeah. Depp case. Yeah. And, you know, he got caught red handed, you know, in, in Johnny's house, in Johnny's building on camera. With Amber Heard, with, yeah, and, yeah. Um, That's you know, right. I forgot you. You know all about him because okay. they ever heard. Well, now that. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Now we're worried that he's gonna. He's he's caught red-handed. Look, he's caught red-handed, but he's really powerful, and people are worried he's gonna go lie in court, like lie through his teeth. Okay. So if somebody would go in a court of law in Virginia and in an international case and lie their teeth off, why would I trust what he says about AI? Yeah, I mean, that's it's possible. But I think when you're doing like – because that's more of a personal thing where it's sexual nature. I mean, a liar is a liar, personal. man. I'm talking about morals and yeah, not lying. Yeah. You know, yeah. a liar is yeah. a liar. I know what you're saying, I. but now are we making excuses for him or are we saying, hey, you know, this guy lied? You know, I get it. Like I could lie about like my taxes yeah, but, I mean, like, and I can like, tell my wife the truth about who I slept with. Mm, but if you get my point, some people like won't lie. Right. But OK, I, I see what you're saying, too. But think of like an actor or an artist. I mean, think of all uh -huh. the, the especially now all the actors that are getting caught with stuff and, you know, it's coming out. This and that's coming out like Woody Allen. That There's a whole new documentary about him. You know, do you take like do you take the honesty of like you, if you separate the artist from the the work, like say mm -hmm. this AI and stuff in neural like is like his art, you know, or his passion project. I don't necessarily the personal life and like your your you know the the sexual that's nature not what I'm talking sexual about. thing that's not what I'm talking okay. about. I'm talking about having the moral to lie in a court of law or not. The subject of oh, the oh, oh, oh just just in the court has he lied in the court of law yet? Yeah, or that's well, just that's what people are worried about. Speculation. That's when we'll find oh, out. Okay. That he so will okay. I'm saying yeah, yeah. I'm not necessarily talking about his personal life, but if he lies in court about this, it's also lying about money that was donated to the children's hospital in Los Angeles. So there's two things he could you know, possibly lie about. Possibly lie so about, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. They're two different subjects. But the point is, when, you know, people have morals, you have nervous systems, you get up right. in front of people, and you have an easier time or a harder, more difficult time lying or not. So if I yeah. figure out how much of a liar Elon Musk is in a public forum, that'll give me a hint to maybe his, you know, take on his progression with his AI and his company. Right. Okay. I see what you're saying. If he's willing to lie about that, he might be willing to lie about this. Yeah. Right. I mean, I would, I'd, have to, I'd have to understand like what he'd benefit from that. Cause I could see lying in court, you know, it's his name is his persona, oh. all that stuff he'd have to benefit. But if he's, you know, what would he benefit from giving, I mean, I guess maybe just attention to it, but it's not really the right kind of attention. Like, 
if you're creating something that you're thinking is going to help and you're putting money behind it and you need it to succeed, yeah. I mean, why would you also be saying when you say benefit, be specific at financially, socially, what do you mean benefit? Like financially, from early, financially, he, for sure. He's yeah. not yeah. looking to benefit financially by telling the truth or a lie in a court. I mean, you know, even if he makes, I don't know how much money off of it, he's not going to be able to even see it. That would be like five cents in our pocket. But you know, Elon Musk is a guy who's concerned about what people think of him because he started, you know, doing PayPal. He started, he was a very weird looking guy before this. Right. Yeah. And um, it's apparent that when he's caught with Amber in public and it was a few times, he took a few chips around the world that he's concerned about his vanity and what people think of him. And people find that strange for somebody in his status. And, um, you know, what I broke down was it, it seems like, He's just like this normal guy, and he progressed way too fast to this level he's at of wealth and, and fame. And so when he has something in his hands like AI, it seems like it's not clear whether he's going to be able to make the right decisions on it or not. Based do you on think that he, do you think that he's not confident in himself to make the right decisions or not? And that's why he's like giving these warnings, saying like, "Hey, if I screw it up, yes. I'm, I'm gonna yes. give you like the hey, it's, uh, it's I, gonna I be really dangerous." Yes. Yeah, okay. I would say yes. And um, I think psychologically, he's somewhat trapped in his old self. You know what I mean? Because somebody look who has a hundred billion dollars, and they're with somebody like you know Amber Heard. It just shows a lack of confidence when you could have any woman in the world. You know what I mean? It shows a lack yeah. of confidence. And his old self came out there and, you know, he kind of kind of dislikes Johnny Depp because he's the cool guy. Yeah. That women like naturally. And like women right. like Elon Musk, obviously, for his money, he's not like a terrible looking guy. But if you get my drift, there's some jealousy. Yeah, he's there. not Johnny Depp. Yeah. 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 There's some jealousy there. So. You know, would his morals of lying take precedence over his personal life? And, you know, I'm going to say if he lies in a court of law, then he's capable of lying anywhere. 